The show, Batman Beyond, was nothing short of amazing. One of the best, if not the best, superhero animation shows ever made. It had good characters, good scripts, and good ties to the original Batman show. However, except for one very small reference, Dick Grayson does not appear in both the series or the film. Which beggars the question, where is Dick Grayson in Batman Beyond? It's set in Batman's future, of course, so he should be there. Well, Dick Grayson had a huge falling out with Batman after Bruce Wayne got Barbara Gordon pregnant, who of course was dating Dick Grayson. So after that, he had next to no contact with Bruce Wayne. For the full story of the pregnancy, check out the links in this video's description. But after this split from the Bat family, Dick Grayson led a semi-normal life, with a little exception of doing some government wet work slash special ops. And he does eventually meet up with the Terry McGuinness version of Batman when the government makes a Dick Grayson clone that of course goes rogue and the two of them have to team up to take the clone down. And he tells Terry McGuinness that it's not just the fact that Bruce Wayne got Barbara Gord pregnant that stops him from speaking to Bruce Wayne. And he recaps the last time that Dick Grayson and Batman teamed up. And on the mission, Bruce Wayne blocked his line of sight with his cape. Now, this was an accident, but a bit of an amateur mistake on Bruce Wayne's part. This was because he had grown used to working alone and forgot about not blocking his partner's line of sight while on a mission. And because Dick Grayson couldn't see the bad guys, he was shot by them when they tried to shoot Batman and the bullets went through his cape. Which resulted in Dick Grayson getting a bullet stuck near his spine and losing one of his eyes. And these injuries were of course so severe that he was out of commission for a while and could never really return to being Nightwing. For some missions he could come back here and there of course and he would in the future. But in the long run, those injuries would stop him from full-time hero work. And it's not so much the fact that he got injured and that it's kind of Batman's fault. It's more the fact that Bruce Wayne just ignored him through pretty much all of his healing and recovery. And he never even apologized for it or even really talked about the incident. All Bruce Wayne said to him at the end of his healing was, Do you need a new uniform? And Dick Grayson realized that Bruce Wayne just doesn't care about him. He only cares about his mission to end crime and he views the Bat family as disposable, every single one of them. Of course, how true that is is up for debate, and it does depend which DC Universe continuity you're in. But it's what Dick Grayson believes in this universe, and he wants nothing more to do with Bruce Wayne. Now at this point, things get a little bit weird. Thanks to the Future's End and the Convergence comic events, the timeline of DC got a little bit warped and rewritten. This kind of falls under the category of timey-wimey nonsense, where history gets rewritten. Now, the full extent of this is not exactly clear, but basically, Dick and Bruce Wayne aren't so estranged anymore. Things are probably still a little bit tense between them, I mean, they always will be with their history, but they do still talk to one another. In fact, Dick Grayson actually visits Bruce Wayne on the anniversary of his parents' death, to be there as a sort of emotional support, and to introduce his daughter to Gotham City a bit. And of course, in this timeline, Dick Grayson still has two eyes meaning that the time he was riddled with bullets on the mission with Batman likely never happened. And he's also moved on with his life, had a daughter named Eliana, whose mother hasn't been revealed yet, but seems to be out of the picture. So she's most likely dead or estranged, although in comic books, being dead doesn't stop you from coming back. So we don't really know where she is or who she is, but I'm sure it will come up at some point. And Dick Grayson has left the mantle of Nightwing long behind him, and instead, he has gone on to fight crime in a different way as the elected mayor of Bloodhaven, which was the city he used to protect as Nightwing after he left Gotham. So basically, he's much happier, much healthier, a mayor, and he has a daughter. So life's going pretty good for him. Now, he's always tried to stop his daughter from becoming a hero, but it was kind of inevitable that she would follow in his footsteps. And so she ends up becoming the new Batwoman. He tries to stop this, of course, when he finds out, but she is determined and eventually he decides to accept this and help her to realize her dream. And he even gets her her very own bat suit from the bat cave. This was apparently a hand-me-down from Barbara Gordon who didn't want the bat suit after Bruce Wayne made it for her and Bruce Wayne being Bruce Wayne, he just put it in storage to the later date. So now we have both a new Batman and a new Batwoman. And she, Terry McGuinness and Grayson do team up to save the world from a villain trying to wipe out all life on Earth by creating a new Ice Age. And that's pretty much all we know at this point in the Batman Beyond comics. But that is the reason why we don't see Dick Grayson in the Batman Beyond show. Because Batman knocked up his girlfriend and was partly responsible for getting Grayson shot and permanently injured. And even after he was shot, he didn't really do anything to mend the bridge between them or even take care of Dick Grayson. 
And Grayson is hurt by the fact that the man who raised him doesn't love or care about him. At least that's the way it seems. And in Bruce Wayne's defense, I think he is basically so broken at this point that he's actually incapable of loving Dick Grayson as his son the way that he should love him. He does want to, I think, he's just not capable of doing it. But that's not Dick Grayson's fault. And given how Bruce Wayne has treated him, I think he is completely justified in cutting off ties from Bruce Wayne. He gave Bruce Wayne every chance and forgave a lot of things. But ultimately, Bruce Wayne kept neglecting him and mistreating him, and there was only so much abuse you can take before you just have to cut off contact. He's not doing this to punish Bruce Wayne. Grayson is doing this to protect himself. Because being around someone you love, only to have them use you, lie to you, and treat you as a disposable prop, is an agony beyond words, and incredibly damaging to your psyche. So Grayson is doing this for his own sanity, not to hurt Bruce Wayne. And since Bruce Wayne is incapable of treating Dick Grayson the right way, there really is nothing else Grayson can do. He did give him enough chances at the end of the day, and he just never took them. But what do you think of all this? Do you agree with me that Grayson is justified in his actions? that he gave Bruce Wayne enough chances and eventually just had to cut off contact? Or do you think he owes it to Bruce Wayne to give him more chances? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I just like to say that we have some new merchandise available on the Needle Mouse Production site, a link to which is in this video's description. And I'd just like to thank all of you for watching this video. And as always, feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment.